John Christopher Depp II is an American actor and musician. He is the recipient of multiple accolades, including a Golden Globe Award as well as nominations for three Academy Awards and two BAFTA Awards. Wikipedia Born, June 9, 1963, age 61 years, Owensboro, Kentucky, United States. Spouse, Amber Heard, M., 2015-2017, Lori and Allison, M., 1983-1985. Children, Lily Rose Depp, Jack Depp. Height, 1.78 meters. Parents, John Christopher Depp, Betty Sue Palmer. Siblings, Daniel Depp, Christy Dembrowski, Debbie Depp. John Christopher Johnny Depp II was born on June 9, 1963 in Owensboro, Kentucky, to Betty Sue Palmer, Nay Wells, a waitress, and John Christopher Depp, a civil engineer. He was raised in Florida. He dropped out of school when he was 15 and fronted a series of music garage bands, including one named The Kids. When he married Laurie A. Depp, he took a job as a ballpoint pen salesman to support himself and his wife. A visit to Los Angeles, California, with his wife, however, happened to be a blessing in disguise when he met up with actor Nicolas Cage, who advised him to turn to acting, which culminated in Depp's film debut in the low-budget horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, where he played a teenager who falls prey to dream-stalking demon Freddy Krueger. In 1987, he shot to stardom when he replaced Jeff Yeager in the role of undercover cop Tommy Hansen in the popular TV series 21, Jump Street, 1987. In 1990, after numerous roles in teen-oriented films, his first of a handful of great collaborations with director Tim Burton came about when Depp played the title role in Edward Scissorhands, 1990. Following the film's success, Depp carved a niche for himself as a serious, somewhat dark, idiosyncratic performer, consistently selecting roles that surprised critics and audiences alike. He continued to gain critical acclaim and increasing popularity by appearing in many features before rejoining with Burton in the lead role of Ed Wood, 1994. In 1997, he played an undercover FBI agent in the fact based film Donnie Brasco, 1997, opposite Al Pacino. In 1998, he appeared in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998, directed by Terry Gilliam, and then, in 1999, he appeared in the sci-fi-slash-horror film The Astronaut's Wife, 1999. The same year he teamed up again with Burton in Sleepy Hollow, 1999, brilliantly portraying Ichabod Crane. Depp has played many characters in his career, including another fact-based one. Insp. Fred Aberline in From Hell, 2001. He stole the show from screen greats such as Antonio Banderas in the finale to Robert Rodriguez's Mariachi trilogy, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003. In that same year he starred in the marvelous family blockbuster Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, playing a character that only the likes of Depp could pull off, the charming, conniving and roguish Captain Jack Sparrow. The film's enormous success has opened several doors for his career and included an Oscar nomination. He appeared as the central character in the Stephen King-based movie, Secret Window, 2004, as the kind-hearted novelist James Barry in the factually-based Finding Neverland, 2004, where he co-starred with Kate Winslet, and Rochester in the British film, The Libertine, 2004. Depp collaborated again with Burton in a screen adaptation of Roald Dahl's novel, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 2005, and later in Alice in Wonderland, 2010, and Dark Shadows, 2012. Offscreen, Depp has dated several female celebrities, and has been engaged to Sherilyn Fenn, Jennifer Grey, Winona Ryder, and Kate Moss. He was married to Lori and Allison in 1983, but divorced her in 1985. Depp has two children with his former longtime partner, French singer-slash-actress Vanessa Parody, Lily Rose Melody, born in 1999, and John Christopher Jack III, born in 2002. He married actress-slash-producer Amber Heard in 2015, divorcing a few years later. Family Spouses Amber Heard, February 3, 2015, to January 13, 2017, divorced.
Laurier Depp, December 24, 1983, to March 7, 1986, divorced. Children. Jack Depp. Lily Rose Depp. Parents. Betty Sue, Wells. John Christopher Depp. Trademarks. Deep, whispering voice. Frequently plays freakishly eccentric outcasts whose oddities are misunderstood by society and usually have a flamboyant appearance and mannerism. Examples, Edward Scissorhands, 1990, Ed Wood, 1994, Don Juan DeMarco, 1994, Dead Man, 1995, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998, Sleepy Hollow, 1999, Before Night Falls, 2000, The Pirates of the Caribbean Films and Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, 2007. Frequently works with directors Tim Burton and Terry Gilliam. Often stars alongside Helena Bonham Carter. Dark, intense eyes and highly defined cheekbones. Known for wearing outlandish clothing and numerous tattoos. Trivia. Donated $2 million to the Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. He gave the gift as thanks for the treatment his daughter Lily Rose received at the facility in March 2007 after contracting an E. coli infection that caused kidney failure. Named beaches on his own island in Bahamas after his once girlfriend Vanessa Parody, his children and public figures like Hunter S. Thompson and Marlon Brando. There is also a patch of water named Heath's Place after Heath Ledger. Once painted on a billboard featuring his 21, Jump Street, 1987, character, because he didn't like his picture or the message the billboard gave. He was stopped by a security guard, who actually let him finish what he was doing when he realized it was Johnny's own face. Made a voice message for 17-year-old British girl who has been in a coma for five months. Parents of the girl asked him to tape a voice message because he's the favorite actor of their daughter and they will play that message to her every day, hoping she'll wake up. Depp was touched by the letter and he said that he'll do whatever he can to help. He was good friends with Hunter S. Thompson until his death. Depp helped to fulfill Thompson's last wish after the writer died. Thompson wanted his remains to be shot out of a 150-foot-long cannon. Great admirer of Marlon Brando. He was also good friends with the legendary actor, who described Depp as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Suffers from nearsightedness since birth, and is nearly blind in his left eye. He claims that the condition cannot be corrected by surgery. Donated his salary earned for the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, 2009, to the daughter of the late Heath Ledger, who passed away in the middle of filming. Jude Law and Colin Farrell did the same thing after Depp gave that idea. Based the character of Captain Jack Sparrow on rock legend Keith Richards and the Looney Tunes character, Pepe Le Pew. Dropped out of high school at age 16 to pursue a career as a musician. Learned French to be able to converse with Vanessa Parody parents. Nicolas Cage got him his first acting job. Closed down the Viper Room for two weeks after River Phoenix died there and he also closed it on every October 31st until 2004, when he sold his share of the club, which was the date of Phoenix's death. Depp has said that he wears two silver skull rings to remind him that life is short and every moment needs to be lived to the fullest. Adopted Goldeneye, the one-eyed Andalusian horse who played Gunpowder, Ichabod Crane's steed in Sleepy Hollow, 1999, thereby saving him from the glue factory. As a child, he was allergic to chocolate. Is a godfather of Tim Burton's children, Nell and Billy Burton, with former partner Helena Bonham Carter will not allow paparazzi to take photos of his children because he feels they didn't ask for the celebrity attention. Dated Vanessa Parody from May 1998 to June 2012. Turned down the role of Bruce Banner in Hulk, 2003. Sports his son's nickname, Jack, tattooed on his arm and a beaded bracelet made by his daughter Lily Rose. Shot all of his scenes in nine days for Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003 but after his filming was done he didn't want to leave. So he suggested to Robert Rodriguez that he play a small part, the priest that Antonio Banderas talks to in the church, and use his Marlon Brando impression. Arrested for trashing a New York hotel room, Depp claimed that an armadillo was responsible, saying that he had found the animal hidden in a closet and it had gone crazy, wrecking the hotel room before leaping out the window. 
is the only actor to appear in three of the ten films to gross $1 billion with Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 2006, Alice in Wonderland, 2010, and Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, 2011. As a teen, he and his punk rock slash new wave band The Kids opened for Iggy Pop, Duran Duran, and the B-52s, among others. His ownership of the Viper Room ended in 2004 when he signed it over to Amanda Fox, the daughter of his missing partner in the club, Anthony Fox. His performance as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, was ranked at number 79 by Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time. He was considered for Dr. Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park, 1993. Originally cast as John Smith in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, 2005, but turned it down after being overworked with other movies he was shooting. Is hugely interested in Jack the Ripper. He starred in From Hell, 2001, which was about Jolly Jack. Is a fan of the popular British series Midsummer Murders, 1997. He also stated that he would like to make a guest appearance in this long-running show. Depp's family has lived in Kentucky for many generations, and many of his ancestors have lived in the United States, in general, since the 1600s. His ancestry includes English as well as Irish, Scots-Irish slash Northern Irish, Scottish, Welsh, French slash French Canadian, Dutch, Belgian Flemish, and German. In 2013, researchers for Ancestry.com established that Depp has remote African ancestry, they traced his lineage to Elizabeth Key, a biracial woman, born c. 1630, who was the first woman of African ancestry to successfully sue to emancipate herself from slavery in the North American colonies, she emancipated her son as well. Depp has frequently stated that he believes that he has Cherokee or Creek heritage, although this ancestry has never been verified by any tribe or genealogists. Asked the origin of his last name by James Lipton on Inside the Actor's Studio, Depp stated, perhaps jokingly, that his name means idiot in German. He was considered for Christian Slater's roles in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, 1991, and Mobsters, 1991. Wrote the foreword to Mark Salisbury's biography of Tim Burton, Burton on Burton. He credits Burton's belief in him for rescuing him from being a loser, an outcast, just another piece of expendable Hollywood meat. As of 2011, his favorite characters played are Jack Sparrow, Edward Scissorhands, and Ed Wood. While dining at Chicago's famous Gibson's Bar and Steakhouse with a group of friends, including Public Enemies, 2009, co-star Marion Cotillard and director Michael Mann, Depp dropped a mammoth tip in the amount of $4,000 on a bill for $4,400, in effect, leaving an incredible 90% gratuity. The party of 15 were celebrating a red carpet screening of Depp's then-latest release, Public Enemies, 2009, has been described as the jester of cinema, the method clown. His incredibly bizarre on-screen persona brings to mind the off-screen behavior of the late Marlon Brando, who was famously eccentric and quirky once he retired from acting. Although unable to attend, he was awarded the Gary Cooper Spirit of Montana Award at the 2005 Hatch Audiovisual Festival in Bozeman, Montana. Hatch honored Depp for his outstanding career and his role as a mentor and inspiration to young and aspiring artists. Quotes Anything I've done up till May 27, 1999, was kind of an illusion, existing without living. My daughter, the birth of my daughter, gave me life. On the money he makes, you use your money to buy privacy, because during most of your life you aren't allowed to be normal. I don't pretend to be Captain Weird. I just do what I do. On Vincent Price, one of the most incredible moments I've ever had was sitting in Vincent's trailer. I was showing him this first edition book I have of the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe, with really amazing illustrations. Vincent was going nuts over the drawings and he started talking about the Tomb of Lygia, 1964. Then he closed the book and began to recite it to me in this beautiful voice, filling the room with huge sounds. Such passion. I looked in the book later, and it was verbatim. Word perfect. It was a great moment. I'll never forget that. The only creatures that are evolved enough to convey pure love are dogs and infants. 
One of the greatest things I've ever seen happen was the morning I opened the newspaper and it said that some very powerful government officials had decided to change the name of French fries to Freedom Fries and French Toast to Freedom Toast. It was impressive. I wanted to write a letter to them just to thank them, just for proving globally that they were absolute imbeciles. America is dumb. It's like a dumb puppy that has big teeth that can bite and hurt you, aggressive. My daughter is four, my boy is one. I'd like them to see America as a toy, a broken toy. Investigate it a little, check it out, get this feeling, and then get out. Taken in context, what I was saying was that, compared to Europe, America is a very young country, and we are still growing as a nation. It is a shame that the metaphor I used was taken so radically out of context and slung about irresponsibly by the news media. There was no anti-American sentiment. In fact, it was just the opposite. I am an American. I love my country and have great hopes for it. It is for this reason that I speak candidly and sometimes critically about it. I have benefited greatly from the freedom that exists in my country, and for this I am eternally grateful. I can remember when I finished Edward Scissorhands, 1990, looking in the mirror as the girl was doing my makeup for the last time and thinking it was like the 90th or 89th day of shooting and I remember looking and going, wow, this is it. I'm saying goodbye to this guy, I'm saying goodbye to Edward Scissorhands. You know, it was kind of sad. But in fact, I think they're all still somehow in there. With any part you play, there is a certain amount of yourself in it. There has to be, otherwise it's just not acting. It's lying. The only gossip I'm interested in is things from the weekly world news. Woman's bra bursts, eleven injured. That kind of thing. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I want to be an old man with a beer belly sitting on a porch. When asked by James Lipton on Inside the Actor's Studio, 1994, what attracts him to funny hats, I don't know, maybe I just read too much Dr. Seuss as a kid. Asked if he is a romantic, am I a romantic? I've seen Wuthering Heights, 1939, ten times. I'm a romantic. About being dragged behind a carriage in the woods on Sleepy Hollow, 1999, I wasn't afraid of getting hurt. I was just afraid that the horses may relieve themselves on the journey. I'm shy, paranoid, whatever word you want to use. I hate fame. I've done everything I can to avoid it. When kids hit one year old, it's like hanging out with a miniature drunk. You have to hold on to them. They bump into things. They laugh and cry. They urinate. They vomit. This is a rumor-filled society, and if people want to sit around and talk about whom I've dated, then I'd say they have a lot of spare time and should consider other topics. Or masturbation. The character I've played, that I've responded to, there has been a lost soul quality to them. Sure, I find it touching, honestly, but awards are not as important to me as when I meet a ten-year-old kid who says, I love Captain Jack Sparrow. That's real magic for me. The term serious actor is kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Like, Republican Party, or, Airplane Food. On a film, you start to get closer and closer with the people you're working with, and it becomes like this circus act, or this traveling family. If you turn on the television and see the horrors that are happening to people in the world right now, I think there's no better time to strive to have some kind of hope through imagination. I think it's a time to close your eyes and try to make a change, or at least hope to make a change, or we're going to explode. I suppose nowadays it's all a question of surgery, isn't it? Of course the notion is beautiful, the idea of staying a boy and a child forever, and I think you can. I have known plenty of people who, in their later years, had the energy of children and the kind of curiosity and fascination with things like little children. I think we can keep that, and I think it's important to keep that part of staying young. But I also think it's great fun growing old. All the little films I've done that were perceived by Hollywood as these obscure, weird things, I always thought could appeal to a larger audience. I mean, box office is such a mystery to me that I can't. You know. I have enough trouble doing my own gig. Asked why he hides his looks behind strange wigs, fake teeth, and girly squeals. I think it's an actor's responsibility to change every time. Not only for himself and the people he's working with, but for the audience. 
if you just go out and deliver the same dish every time. It's meatloaf again. You'd get bored. I'd get bored. Salaries. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, 2022, $16 million. Minamata, 2021, $3.000000. Waiting for the Barbarians, 2020, $1 million. City of Lies, 2021, $8.000000. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, 2018, $13.500. The Professor, 2019, $3,500,000. Murder on the Orient Express, 2017, $10 million. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, 2017, $90 million. Mordecai, 2015, $18 million. Into the Woods, 2014, $15 million. Transcendence, 2014, $20 million. The Lone Ranger, 2013, $20 million. The Rum Diary, 2011, $15 million. Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, 2011, $55,500,000. Rango, 2011, $7,500,000. The Tourist, 2010, $20 million. Alice in Wonderland, 2010, $68 million. Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, 2007, $10 million. Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, 2007, $90 million. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 2006, $20 million. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 2005, $18 million. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, $10 million. Blow, 2001, $4 million. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998, $500,000. Donnie Brasco, 1997, $5 million. Nick of Time, 1995, $5 million. Ed Wood, 1994, $750,000. Edward Scissorhands, 1990, $1,500,000. 21, Jump Street, 1987, $45,000 per episode. Platoon, 1987, $40,000. A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, $25,000. <laughs>